so one more type of uh, first order uh, numerical first order rate equation numerical so let us see this consider a certain reaction a giving us products okay fine with a rate constant given so let us write the given data again same thing so k is equal to 2.2 into 10 is minus 2 second inverse calculate the concentration of a remaining remain remember in the rate equation we have two terms one is a by a minus x or there's one more uh, equation r by sorry r naught by r that r is your remaining concentration isn't it just re recollect once again go back to your integrated rate equation see that a by a minus x is this is the amount of reactant consumed or r naught by r this is initial concentration and this is the amount or the remaining amount after that particular uh, reaction means how much ever is consumed so they are asking us to find out this quantity now let us see now um, calculate the concentration of a remaining i have to find out r value after 100 seconds <laughs> And they have given me the uh, this in time is equal to 100 seconds if the initial concentration of a that is r naught is one mole liter in this simple numerical let us do this let us first write uh, the thing uh, first the formula for the first order so k is equal to 2.303 by t log r by r naught correct now right k is already given to uh, <coughs> us yeah find k value is given t value is given i have to find so this is r naught by r yeah r naught by r i have to find this now let us write 2 into 10 raised power of minus 2 second inverse is equal to 2.303 by uh, your t is 100 seconds log r naught given as 1 divided by r i have to find this simple now oh, get this whole quantity on this side log 1 by r in the concentration term isn't it r now you will multiply this and this isn't it this becomes 2 into 10 raised power of minus 2 into 100 divided by 2.303 this and this gets cancelled so we get 2 uh, divided by uh, 2.303 yes now log 1 by r concentration 2 divided by 2.303 so when you solve this you get an answer of 0 0.8684 done now you have to find r value isn't it so 1 by r is equal to <laughs> log if you this is your log value of this particular thing correct now you have to find the anti log anti log of 0 0.8684 because log value you've got to get the final answer you do the anti log part anti log of this one how much do you get you get 7.3858 anti log of this particular value this is log value this is anti log value so still i am not done i have to find r 1 by so 1 by r is 7.3858 so r is equal to when you divide that is 1 by 7.3858 i get an answer of 0.135 molar yes so this is your complete sum given data formula substitution finding the anti-log after finding the anti-log 1 by r is so much r is equal to 1 by 7.3858 i get an answer of 0 0.135 molar please note the numerical please practice it such numericals are easy to attempt in the exam to one more numerical in the first order rate equations so let us read this numerical <coughs> right the initial concentration of n2o5 in the following first order reaction so this is the reaction which is given to us and in that particular reaction the rate constant given to us is 1.24 into 10 of minus 2 right at 398 kelvin then they said the concentration of N2O5 after 60 minutes was so much. Okay, the concentration value is given. Here also they have given one concentration and here they have given one more concentration. Calculate the rate constant of the reaction. Correct. So, <clears throat> what did they give us? Let us write the data given to us. Hmm. 
they've given us rate constant that is your uh, concentration now this basically we have two types of concentration isn't it so r not value was is given to us 1.24 into 10 raised to the minus 2 mole liter in this and the concentration after 60 minutes so later stages it was to 20 into 10 raised to the minus 2 mole liter okay this is done for me then what did they give me they given me a particular time yeah they've given me time t is equal to 60 minutes done so temperature okay not just for our information they've given that what should i find out i have to find out rate constant k is equal to this now so what actually is the equation uh, asking us to solve they we have to find out the rate constant right at a, a different temperature right now this uh, this is one temperature given to us this is uh, one uh, this is a temperature given to us they want us to find out the change in that particular rate constant so what should i do first i'm going to write the reaction or the rate equation by t log r naught by r this is your basic first order rate equation now they've given me a variation in your uh, uh, this one, what do you say time that is 60 minutes later after 60 minutes so much has uh, decomposed this set <coughs> so the same formula i can write it as 2.303 t2 minus t1 by log r1 by r2 substitute the values k is equal to 2.303 so your 60 minus 0 0 to 60 is the limit right here according to this formula and log what did what did we get for r naught this is 1.24 into 10 raised to the minus 2 mole liter inverse and what is the r2 value we have got here this is instead of r naught it is r1 here instead of r it is r2 so substitute 0 to 0 into 10 raised to the minus 2 mole liter inverse correct now when when you solve this when you solve this you get an answer of log 6.2 you just solve this because mole and mole get cancelled and what are we left with you left with minutes isn't it when this goes up this becomes minute inwards fine when you solve this whole thing first try to solve this find this log value multiply with that and if you just uh, further uh, simplify you get an answer of 0 0.0304 because <coughs> this is your uh, minute isn't it and the unit for the first order rate constant is time inverse. So when you solve, you get this answer.